been traveling for the last month and a half, and so you are gonna get straight from the hip my soft plastic selection seminar. I haven't even seen my PowerPoint yet, so <laughs> you guys are gonna get, no, I mean, th and that's actually a really good thing because nothing's rehearsed. I'm gonna tell stories, um, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how and when and where and what soft plastics. I'm basically gonna show you all the missile baits but you can base these upon any soft plastic brand that you want to, but the style is pretty consistent, you know, all the way around from creature baits to big worms to uh, drop shot baits to swim baits. So, I mean, you can apply what I'm going to tell you. I mean, it's all missile baits here, but you can apply it to any brand of soft plastic you like because I'm not going to lie. There, and all of a sudden, it makes that noise on the bottom, and everybody turns their head. That's what the fish do. The fish, here it hit the bottom. And all of a sudden it's kicking up silt. It's kicking up the sand. It's hitting those rocks. It's hitting the docks. It's creating a reaction strike that you never had before. Five-aught, six-aught flipping hook on it. Pretty much take it, flip it into the heaviest cover, flip it in no cover. You're gonna get bit with this bait. Another way to present this bait, and it's done well for me, is on the back of a chatterbait. Fishing it on the Delaware River last year, fishing it on the Potomac River. I've actually put this bait on the back of a chatterbait, and what it does is it has action that's going like this that's a lot more than a twin tail grub or something. It just gives that chatterbait a bigger, bulkier profile, and it also gives it a lot more action, especially when you're trying to trigger those big fish into eating. To me, when I talk about big fish, and that's what I key in on, big baits, big bulky baits, big profile baits, and that's what the D-bomb gives them. Color choices. Candy grass, candy grass being one of my personal favorites because it's a bluegill imitator. Probably my first color choice is always gonna be Bruiser Flash, which is black and blue. Black and blue, you can go any lake, anywhere in the country, whether the water's clear, water's dirty, water's stained, Water can be anything, chocolate, mud, black and blue will catch fish. So if you ever contemplating on what color to throw, your first color choice should be black and blue in any plastic bait that you go to. Third color choice, something natural, green pumpkin. Can't go wrong, Old Faithful green pumpkin. You know, there's a lot of variations of it. We've got one called GP3, green pumpkin purple. Awesome color. but. Green pumpkin is definitely, you know, another color choice is if you had to have three in my boat, black blue, which is bruiser flash, candy grass, which is my bluegill pattern, which is seen up here, and green pumpkin being my third color choice. You want something that's just a little bit more sleek, not to the point where you actually want to go completely finesse. This bait right here on a Texas rig is amazing. You get your craws. When you don't want to throw that big worm out there, you don't want to throw a creature or a regular creature bait, but you want something that's almost finesse, but not, this is the bait that you're going to do. You're going to break out your craws. It's a great crawdad imitator. Crawdads are your pre-season bait to go to. So here's how I kind of break it down. When I'm fishing in early spring to spring, I like crawdad imitators. Spring to spawn moving into the summer is bluegill imitators. Summer to fall is shad imitators. Winter time to spring back to the crawdad imitators. That's what I try to key in on when I'm out there fishing because the bass, if you've ever noticed it, you catch fish on jigs, you catch fish on any crawdad imitator from basically December through April. And as April starts to roll through, you start catching them on bluegill patterns because the bluegill are starting to show up. You're starting to see them swim around. The bass are feeding on bluegills. Matching the hatch is the key, so the missile craw itself is matching that crawdad pattern that you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bass University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips.
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their touted special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.